Let's head now to the United Kingdom, where the Transport Secretary has apologized for Monday's nationwide air traffic control fault, saying issues on this scale haven't happened for a decade. Mark Harper stressed that technical experts have ruled out a cybersecurity incident with the Civil Aviation Authority set to investigate. Thousands of passengers were affected by the disruption, with aviation analysts warning that there could be knock-on effects for days to come. And there have been reports of heated scenes at airports across Europe with fists flying in Parma as exasperated uh, tourists struggle to return home. Heathrow Airport says services will remain significantly disrupted and passengers are being urged to contact their airline before heading to the terminal. More than 60 flights have been cancelled at the West London Airport made up of at least 32 departures and 31 arrivals. British Airways appears to be the most affected airline. There was a technical issue with the flight planning system yesterday morning. It was resolved by early afternoon, but it meant that the system had to resort to a, a backup system, which absolutely prioritised people being able to fly in and out of Britain safely, but it has a lower capacity than the the normal system, and that's what caused the significant number of flight cancellations yesterday. So our technical experts have looked at it and are clear that it wasn't a cyber security incident. It was a technical issue yesterday morning. Uh, something on this magnitude will be looked at independently by the Civil Aviation Authority, and there will be a report that comes to me, and we'll look at that very carefully to see whether there are changes that need to be put in place. Something on this scale hasn't happened for almost a decade. Normally the system works very well and we obviously want to look to see if there's anything we can do to avoid this disruption in the future.